Richard was a picker by Carolyn Beck, illustrated by Ben Hodson, published by Orca Book Publishers. Richard was a picker. He would pick and pick and pick. His neighbors called him Booger Boy. His best friends called him Rick. He'd stick his finger up his snout and prod and pry and scoop stuff out. He stretched the gooey, slimy strings into loops and swingy things. From the crumbles, gobs, and ooze, he sculpted castles, farms, and zoos. Jelly yellows and gooky whites made robots, trains, and satellites. Globby browns and clabbery greens built airports, towns, and submarines. Then, one day, as he dug about, Richard's finger would not come out. He pulled, he tugged, he grasped and gripped, but up, 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 his finger slipped. One knuckle, two knuckles, then all three. Oh no, said Richard, how can this be? He tried a yank, a jerk, a twist. In went his hand up to his wrist. Help, he honked in puzzled alarm. Snort. Richard's nose sucked up his arm. Richard froze. He dared not blink or gasp or twitch or even think. Around him fell the strangest hush. Then rumble, grumble, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Shoulders, chest, knees, and toes, the rest of Richard slid up his nose. Richard was in his half-picked snout, which now was completely inside out. He looked like a booger, a big gloopy blob, an ooey, gluey, goobery, Glob. Help, help, help! Richard's hollers were so muffled, so wee, they couldn't be heard by even a flea. He wriggled his fingers and squiggled his toes, but still he stayed stuck inside his nose. He wormed, he squirmed, he snapped and bumped. He kicked, he flicked, he flapped and thumped. Then, with a shudder and a sh sh shake, Richard's inside out snout began to quake. It wobbled and bobbled, tottered and rocked. Two heads, two heads, two heads. Richard squawked. He zigged and zagged toward the door. His gooky nose gathered stuff from the floor. A book, a puzzle, the rug, a shoe, a ball, some shorts, and a sock or two. He rumbled, he tumbled down the hall. Pictures fell from their hooks on the wall. As he lurched from his house into the street, he bowled his mother right off her feet. He picked up six cats, five crows, one mouse, an unsuspecting dog sleeping in his house, a wagon, a frog, two babies in a pool, and old Mrs. Rapper Taffy knitting on her stool. Neighbors yelled, 
neighbors ran. Richard kept on rolling. He had a plan. He rolled past the bank and Maury's meats, by Flora's flowers and Stella's sweets. Behind him chased the entire town. Catch it, they cried. Hunt that thing down. They waved canes and sticks and big wooden spoons, chains and picks and nasty harpoons. But Richard kept rolling. He was headed for Ed's. If he didn't make it, he'd be shredded to shreds. Get those babies! Stop that blob! The crowd chasing Richard was a mad, mad mob. Four blocks, three blocks, just two blocks to go. But Richard's snout was beginning to slow. His nose was too loaded, too lumped and clumped. Seeing their chance, the six cats jumped. Five crows flew, one mouse leapt, while the dog in his house slept and slept. With one block left, Richard slowed to a crawl. He was barely moving at all, at all. Oh, then came the jab of a big wooden spoon and the quick sharp prick of a rusty harpoon. Richard bumped to a stone dead stop directly in front of Ed's spice shop. Get it, bash it, bash it, cried the horde. Net it, thrash it. Smash it, they roared. St st stop, stammered Richard. Stop, stop, please. He crossed his fingers and waited for a, ah. Ah, ah, choo. Could have been the parsley, the pepper, the thyme, the nutmeg, the mustard, the ginger, or the lime. It could have been the cumin, the coriander, the salt. The only thing that mattered was the end result. The babies, the wagon, the socks, the frog, the pictures, the puzzle, the rug, the dog, the book, the ball, the shorts, the shoe, Oh, Mrs. Rapper Taffy, and Richard, too. Everything went flipping and flying round and round, but all landed safely on a soft, spicy mound. The babies went puff, the dog went plop. Oh, Mrs. Rapper Taffy went flip, flap, flop. The crowd stood astounded. They were plastered in snot. B Booger boy, they spluttered. That's you, is it not? Richard rubbed his nose. It was very, very sore. Booger boy, he said. No, that's not me. Not anymore.